guys, it's Brandon, and I'm in from PocketNow.com here at CES 2013, taking a look at the Galaxy Note 10.1 on Verizon, and look at this huge branding. It's about the size of my hand. Let's take a look and see if there are any changes between this and the other version we reviewed. So we've got the same 1.4 gigahertz quad-core Exynos processor, but there are some software changes here. Most notably, it has Jelly Bean, which makes a big difference when we do this dual view. Check this out. So the Galaxy Note and the Galaxy Note 10.1, Galaxy Note 2, a lot of Galaxy devices have this split-screen view. The problem was that there was a responsiveness issue where when you were manipulating one, the other would basically take a second to respond. But as you can see, that is no longer the case. It's basically one-to-one -one performance, which is just fantastic. And Samsung says that they've added more apps here, uh, and we really don't see that here, but this is pre-production software. We've got, you know, the file browser and the, the alarm and the gallery and the calculator and stuff like that that you would want to use. Uh, another new thing here is called Cascade View which is a really awesome way to stack apps on top of one another. Uh, we saw this in, in, a, in a, to a certain degree in the Galaxy Note 2, where you could, see if I can move that around, looks like it is frozen, pre-production software in the house, not working. But anyway, as you could imagine, what you could have here is a calculator floating on top of your email app, or you could have your calendar on top of the web browser while you're working. It's a really cool feature, great way to take advantage of the screen space. To be honest, we're actually excited for the next version of this when we see a higher res display because the display is, is, is okay, it's just okay. And of course we've got the full functionality of the S Pen that we've come to expect uh, and everything's just a little bit faster here now with Jelly Bean. Uh, but everything's pretty much is, is the same, but we're glad to see that the dual view has been fixed. One of the best promises here of the Galaxy Note 10.1. Again, pre-production software, it is not responding to my touch. That's it for now.